How can we convert a percentage into a fraction? Let's talk about that in this video. First, you want to convert the percentage to a decimal value. So what you want to do is divide by 100 or 100%. 30% divided by 100% is basically 0.30. Now that you have a decimal, what you want to do is convert it to a fraction. 0.30 is the same as 0.3. Now, because we have a decimal that goes to the nearest tenth, we want to put it over 1 and multiply the top and bottom by 10. 0.3 times 10 is 3. 10 times 1 is 10. Of course, we're multiplying across. So the answer for this example is 3 over 10. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have 15% and we want to convert it into a fraction. First, convert it to a decimal by dividing it by 100%. 15% divided by 100% will give us 0.15 or 0.15. Now, this number goes to the hundreds place. So what we're going to do is put it over 1 and multiply the top and bottom by 100. Multiplying across, we have 0.15 times 100, which is you just got to move the decimal two units to the right. That will give you 15. On the bottom, 1 times 100 is 100. Now, we need to simplify the fraction. We could divide both numbers by 5 uh, because this ends with 5, that ends with 0. So we know that they're divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 15% is equal to 3 over 20 as a fraction. Let's try another example. 12.8%. Let's convert that to a fraction. So let's begin by dividing it by 100% to turn it to a decimal. 12.8% divided by 100%. We're just going to move the decimal point two units to the left. And that's going to be 0.128. Now, this goes to the nearest thousandths. So we're going to put it over 1 and multiply the top and bottom by 1,000 to get rid of the decimal. 0.128 times 1,000, basically you got to move the decimal point 3 units to the right. That's going to give you 128, and on the bottom, 1 times 1,000 is 1,000. So now we need to simplify the fraction. Since both numbers are even, we could divide by 2. Half of 128 is 64. The way you can see that is 12 divided by 2 is 6, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and half of 1,000 is 500. You can see it this way, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then carry the two zeros, so you get 500. Now, we still have even numbers, so we could divide by 2 again. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so half of 64 is 32. Now, half of 500, half of 50, 50 divided by 2 is 25, add the 0, you get 250. Now, we still have even numbers, so we could divide by 2 again. 32 divided by 2 is 16, and 250 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 50 divided by 2 is 25. So we get 125. And at this point, we can't simplify any further. So 12.8% is 16 over 125 as a fraction. So those are some examples that illustrate how you can convert a percent to a decimal and convert that into a fraction.